What happened? to touch this vehicle. Scientific boys need to go over it. Yes, Sergeant. We better keep the people clear, just to be on the safe side. Right. Scientific are on their way. Good lad. Why, Dr. Fury? Is he such a lovely person? I know. I know. What happened? Ah, uh, shut down. It's a mist, but... It's sort of knocked her over and knocked her out. Uh, just for a few seconds, then she came to. She seemed to be all right. She asked me how I was. She was worried about me. Can you believe her? It's okay, it's okay. She, what happened then? Uh, she just collapsed. Um, she's been unconscious ever since. Okay. She's gonna be all right. Dr. Franklin should be here shortly. She'll be able to tell you more. Who's Dr. Franklin? A neurosurgeon. Anyway, she's, um, she's at the hospital now. Bob's with her. I don't understand. What sort of accident? She was shot. She was shot? Somebody shot my mom. Yes, sweetheart. Is she going to be all right? We really don't know at the stage. I'm going no, to the hospital. Wait, wait, Tony. Tony, it's late. We're all upset. They're going to the hospital now. Won't do anybody any good. But, George, somebody has to be oh, with us. there. He'll call and let us know what's happening. I have to go and see her. Tony, Tony, they're right. The Rev will look after her. Listen, how's the Rev handling it? Why didn't Reverend Bob save her? Okay. How long is this Dr. Franklin going? Any second. She's on her way. Well, that's not helping Ellie much, is it? I'm sorry. Okay, Rev, how's the doc? Oh, she'd be a lot better if somebody was looking after her. How could this happen? Ellie's never hurt anyone. Why her? Really makes you think, doesn't it? Where the God is on our side. Just because you can't work it out, Rev, doesn't mean there's not an answer. You can only be positive. Oh, is that all? Yeah. Hey. And she's not responding to painful stimulation. That's Straight to pathology? Mm-hmm. It looks like she's falling deeper into coma. We need that CAT scan now. We'll go straight to theatre from there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm Dr. Franklin. Susan. Bob oh, Brown. Are you a relative of Ellie's? No, no, I'm just a good friend. Come and sit down, Bob. I will fix that shirt up for you. Uh, look, mm -hmm. I was with her when this happened. Uh, her parents live up north. Her, um, her ex-husband's away on some, some sort of... Please, could you just tell me what's happening? She's getting worse, responding less. It looks like there's bleeding into the skull and the pressure's building up. So, if we don't relieve that pressure and stop the bleeding, there's a chance we could lose her. Right. 
We have to stop meeting like this. Tell me about it. Bad one? She's got pellets embedded in the skull and a huge extradural hematoma. I love it when you talk technical. Damn. Problem? Let pupils fix and dilate, and we know there isn't a right. So let's get on with it. I'm pretty well set to go. Better move it along. We're running out of time. Hurry up to that shade. We'll go in as soon as I've scrubbed. Is there any news? No, they're operating. It's on the now. She's going to be all right, isn't she? Yeah, God willing, mate. Well, uh, here's that shirt that the sister asked for. Um, can I get you anything? Coffee? Food? No, that's fine. Bob, it's going to be all right. I know it is. Good morning. Something happened? No, 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 I've just done my post-op check. How is she? The same. Claire. Claire, come on, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Come on. That's it. You're my mummy's doctor. Yes, I am. This is Dr. Franklin. This is Ellie's daughter, Claire. Hello, Claire. Can Mummy come home today? I'm afraid not. When? Well, we need to look after her for a while. Make sure she gets better. We can look after her. Can't we, Reverend Bob? I think the doctors and nurses can do a much better job than us, sweetheart. They know exactly what's wrong and how to fix it. I want to see her. Come on. I'll take you in. Don't you have a home to go to? Not while they always like this. How's Claire? Hopefully getting some sleep. People do need that, you know. They can't go on indefinitely. Well, the bench outside will do me. So if I can stay there where I can see her. It's no problem. called you Reverend. That's right. I didn't realize. Why, are there special discounts for Reverends? Is that what you're leading to? <clears throat> I'm sorry. It's okay. Listen, can you give it to me straight? How long is she likely to be like this? You want the facts? Yeah. I've changed the regime. <clears throat> Last night when we operated, we took out the pellets and a rather large blood clot. Yeah, well, I sort of knew that much. What? Is there something wrong? Uh, 
There's no way of knowing how much damage has been done, physical or mental. Well, what exactly does that mean? It'd be highly unusual for Ellie to come out of this with no after effects at all. Some form of paralysis is, is very likely. Yeah, but that'll pass, man. Well, uh, I can't really give you any answers until she's regained consciousness and then I'll be able to assess her fully. You said you wanted the facts. Yeah, well, I sure got I think you should also be aware that there's a possibility that Ellie might not come out of this at all.